forward. So we're very excited about that. And now I'm going to ask uh, Jim Moore, the CEO of OSF Healthcare, to come forward and say a few words. Thank you, David. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here this morning. I'll be relatively brief, but I do want to make a, a few remarks. Uh, we at OSF, the leadership and the board, are extremely pleased uh, with the signing of this affiliation agreement. We believe it produces an opportunity for us working collaboratively into, collaboratively into the future uh, to create a regional health system that will rival those of many large cities. It will allow people to access their care here in Rockford versus having to travel it out. By coming together, we can create a mass, if you will, a critical mass of patients that will allow us to support other specialists and subspecialists right here in the city of Rockford. So it is a, a great day, we believe, for the city of Rockford, uh, for Rockford Health System, and for St. Anthony Medical Center by the signing of this agreement. Today, I'd also like to announce that Gary Cotts, uh, the President and CEO of Rockford Health System, and Dave Schertz, the President and CEO of St. Anthony Medical Center, have agreed to lead this new OSF Northern Region. Gary will serve as the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer of the Northern Region, and Dave Schertz will serve as the Chief Operating Officer of the Northern Region. So we are very pleased to make that announcement today. Throughout this process, Gary and Dave have shared a common vision of what's possible for the Rockford community and for both of our organizations in the, in essence, the services levels that we may provide here. I would also like to take this opportunity to address the 5,000 physicians and employees in the Rockford area that this coming together may affect. One thing that we know is all of those people share a common dedication and loyalty to high quality care and service to the Rockford community. And we know by working together that we can continue to experience that high level of care, an improved level of care, and improve the access and the level of services that will be available in the future as this merger works out. Um, as Gary also indicated, OSF has agreed to local representation. We believe local leadership by having a local board, people from the local community elected to serve on that board, will keep health care local in the city of Rockford. Individuals who live and work here will be an integral part of the board in the leadership and management of the organization and also very active community members throughout the Rockford region. So we think that's a critical component of this affiliation that's taking place along here and we are very pleased that this has worked out the way it has. It will in essence create, if you will, a, a real local flavor. People who live and use these services will be impacting the decisions of those services being out here. So we look forward, as indicated, to the successful completion of the regulatory process and following the, the approval of that, moving forward with the integration plan to make all of our visions come through. So we want to thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Jim. At this point, we would be more than happy to see if we can entertain questions from anybody. Yes, ma'am. We don't know. We don't know. It could, uh, the uh, filing of the Hart Scott Rodino uh, uh, will, will probably entail the Federal Trade Commission from looking at it in a very diligent way, perhaps the Justice Department, perhaps others. Uh, the certificate of exemption we hope to be uh, getting on the uh, May agenda for the Illinois Health Facilities and Services Board. So uh, can't give you a better answer than that. It could go probably in the best case scenario uh, uh, somehow between here and early summer and the worst case it could go for the duration of the better part of the year. At what point will uh, Rockford Health System patients, I guess, will they be able to use the OSF facilities, vice versa, um, will well, they, or will people continue to... Right, right now I think, we, you know, we continue to share uh, resources and clinical programs. I don't think there will be any change uh, going forward uh, until the closing is done. Yes? What, what services change at uh, our Rockford Health System because of the merger? We, that, those have not been identified, Mike, at this point, and will not be until, as Jim mentioned, we get on with the integration plan after, after we have cleared uh, the federal regulatory and state regulatory processes. Have you guys decided on a name, naming of Rockford Memorial? Is, does the name change, Rockford Health System? 
I think at this point, uh, Jim, you, uh, oh, uh, we're, pardon me? Oh, at, at, at this point, uh, that has to be determined going forward along those lines. I mean, it, it, the, the legacy of Rockford Health System, we're very conscious of that legacy. It's a long legacy of caring in this community. And so we will probably be at the moment, I think it's going to be tentatively at least OSF Rockford Memorial Hospital, Rockford Health System, because we don't want to lose the legacy and the long caring commitment that has, has been there at this point. In, time. in the future, who knows what will happen, but starting out, we're not looking at major changes there. We have not gotten to that. Obviously, one of the drivers is enhanced efficiency and effectiveness. Um, and if you follow healthcare, you'll see that the trends of more outpatient than inpatient, uh, advances of technology such as PACs and radiology and the impact that that's had on file clerks, the install of electronic medical records and what that has done in terms of, of people involved in paper management. So there will continue to be redistributions going on, but we have not had the opportunity to really get into the details to look at that until uh, until we have uh, uh, closed the uh, the deal. Yes. Well, Rockford has its own history of mergers that you're alluding to, and in uh, in the early. I guess that was in the 80s, I'm going on memory here, uh, Rockford Health System and Swedish were blocked from merging by the Justice Department. But in the 90s, when OSF and Swedish American had discussions, actually the regulatory, it was approved by the FTC at the time, I think, I heard the Justice, I can't remember who reviewed it. Whatever the, the appropriate Justice Department was at the time, they actually signed off the merger. That wasn't the, the barrier. So. Uh, health care is continuing to evolve. I think there's a significant recognition of health reform and the challenges that are going to be put forth by health reform to hospitals. And it's clear uh, from the Justice Department and the FTC looking at their regulations that they're going to have to rethink about these mergers because there's going to be significant demands put upon hospitals under health reform. And so they recognize that to get the scale that's necessary and the investments that's necessary, a lot of things like we're seeing here in Rockford are going to be replicated and are currently being replicated in other communities across the country to deal with the challenges of health reform. So we are hopeful that this will go through. We believe that we have a very good case to make with the, the Justice Department, excuse me, I keep saying Justice Department, it's actually FTC. We're not sure which will do it. Traditionally, in the last couple of years, the FTC has handled health care mergers, not the Justice Department. But we think that will be the case. But one never knows until it's over. Could you also talk about the um, challenges or um, how health care reform has maybe created a sense of urgency for our merger? Well, you're, when you ask a question like that to me, you're talking about a 45-minute lecture at a minimum. But um, I'll try and – I would not say that health reform was the driving thing behind this merger. I think what we have here, this affiliation, was a common vision of what's possible in the city of Rockford. Excuse me. <coughs> and that's the overriding thing, I think, that makes this a successful affiliation, is that there's a common vision and commitment to the Rockford community and what's possible. Health reform is one of those variables out there that make it maybe more attractive, but not the driving force. And by that I mean, if you look at the health reform law, a significant way they were going to finance this additional coverage was not just new taxes, but significant reductions in payment met levels on Medicare over the next 10 years to hospitals and physicians. And so in order to survive in that environment, you do need to get scale and economies so that you drive your cost for if you will, your cost of care down to those levels. Affiliations such as this allow some of that scale to be achieved so you become a more financial stable employer and a more stable medical infrastructure for this community. So, but I wouldn't want health reform to be the driving factor. That's just one variable. Without a common vision about the commitment that we have to serving the people of northern Illinois, in particular the Rockford community, this wouldn't be possible at all. And I think both boards saw that a while back, and that's what started the dialogues with this common vision of service to the community. Health reform is just one of those variables that we're going to have to deal with, and the affiliation, we think, will make it easier for us to, to deal with because of the things that we've referenced. At least that's 
my abbreviated lecture. Could, could I add to that in a less eloquent way? Our boards, both boards, <coughs> said demonstrate benefit to the patient. And we focused on affordability, accessibility, clinical excellence, clinical outcomes, and efficiency. But it was always, always discussed. Demonstrate the benefit to the patient. So even in the big complicated uh, scenarios that develop, whether they be local, regional, or national, <coughs> benefit to the patient and benefit to the patient's family is a driving variable here. Okay, want me to take a stab at that? And you know, your regular person who's coming, they have a doctor at St. Anthony, and you know, they find out here about this later on when we put it on the news. Why should they care about this and how will this help them? How will it help them individually? Um, well, quite frankly, if we come together and form this organization, it will create the most stable platform for health care delivery in this region. What's it mean to the individual patient? It means continuity in their care. It means an expanding health care delivery system that will provide more services here at home. The likelihood of them having to leave Rockford for health care diminishes greatly, so they stay close to family and friends. And it also, they as an individual, individual patient, they're affected by our local economy too. What we do to stabilize health care in this environment and grow the new OSF northern region, that benefits the local economy that they live in. Does it mean if they have a relationship with a doctor right now who's part of either OSF or Rockford Health Systems, that doesn't change. So there's continuity there. They don't need to be worried about that disruption. This is about building a much stronger organization around their individual relationships between them and their doctor. So stability. 